Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Map Track Episode 2. That's right, this is Episode 2 of Map Track. And today, we are going to be o going over one of my favorite maps of the whole entire Combat Evolved franchise. The very, very map that... It's going to be... It's the very name that I based myself off of. The one, the only, Sidewinder. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, as you can tell, it's going to be a very icy map. And the title reads, Red Snow. No, wait, Red Blood, White Snow. And I apologize, I messed that up. <laughs> I already messed it up. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, so, as you can see, I kind of have it going on neutral right now. So we're going to start off with the red base. You got med pack over here. Keep in mind, med packs are going to be scarce on this map because it is a very big map. Standard layout, you got an assault rifle on one end, plasma rifle on the other. Couple of grenades back here as well as a flag capture point. That'll be crucial. Now without further ado, let's check up top. Now keep in mind the state this the whole entire uh, ladders in this game I've never really figured out. So I'm probably gonna fall down a couple times. Like so. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go up this one, see if I... Okay, there we go, it just wasn't going up high enough. So as you can see here at the very back end of the wall, you got a sniper rifle. Keep that in mind, that's very useful for dealing with pesky enemies that teleport over there toward the rocket launcher area. So if you grab a sniper rifle, make sure that you keep your eye on that area, make sure that no one picks up those rockets, very crucial for your team. Now I kind of have it set on the uh, PC version, so you will have like rocket hogs, a lot more warthogs and scorpions and vehicles and whatnot. And that pretty much does it for the red side. Let's check out the tunnel system next. And then we'll go through the middle. Okay, with the tunnel system, there's typically, typically going to be a flamethrower. Very useful. There's like a, a whole entire stack of plasma grenades here. This is the most crucial area. This is going to be the most crucial area for when you're uh, when you're pretty much playing on this map. Keep in mind that you can destroy, or at least get those boosts over to your side so the enemy team can't have them. Very useful if you're playing Capture the Flag, you need that overshield in order to get into the enemy base. Relatively unscathed. The only way to get to the other side through the tunnel system is kind of like going up on this little ridge line. And keep in mind, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of magnums over here. This is going to be like a main choke point. If you want to go straight for the flag, I recommend taking this path. Just keep in mind, the enemy will do so as well. So it's going to be the path of most resistance. So going down here, it's pretty much the same layout. It just mirrors itself. As you can see. <laughs> Flamethrower over there. Stack of plasma... Plasma grenades over there. Heap of boosts that you gotta keep giving to your team in order to win. Man, that's a great view. <laughs> okay, heading out, this pretty much wraps up the tunnel system. And as you can see here, there is little to no difference with either base. It's kind of mirrored. Everything is mirrored exactly the same way, so as you can see, plasma rifle is on this side, assault rifle on this side, but the main constant for this whole entire map is probably the fact that sniper rifles are back here. Oh, and I forgot, shotguns are like to the sides right here, but in this case, if you were on red side, it'd be over here. That covers the base. 
Yeah, nice little banshee over there. But it's also going to be over there as well, so keep in mind. Let's go through the teleporter, shall we? Now, teleporters are definitely your best bet when trying to retrieve a flag and capture the flag. I recommend going through them, and you'll go through this little tunnel here. Now, this little area will hold need needlers, plasma grenades, what have you. So make sure that you got a ride on standby that can pick you up. You know, rockets along this sideline here. And of course you have another system, except this tunnel has a health kit and a fuel rod. Keep in mind these fuel rods aren't like fuel rods in the previous titles. They're energy based. Alrighty, am I on? Yep, I'm on red side now. So keep in mind, sometimes the best way of traversing the map is actually using these tunnel systems. So if you know what you're doing, you can at least put together a team to find some way to get into the base, steal the enemy flag, take it back to your base and whatnot, wash, rinse, repeat, cycle continues. But don't be afraid to switch it up. Alrighty. And with that, we are back to the red base. Now I'm kind of simply going to take you along the sidelines of this map. And what makes this map notable? Okay, keep in mind, what makes this map really notable is these ice patches. I gotta admire Bungie's work on this, because the ice patches, they're really, really hard to drive on. Your Warthog loses traction. They just did a marvelous job of capturing like how vehicles technically move on the ice with this game because you lose a lot of control of the warthog with this also keep in mind that there's also like little pathways up into the ridges so if you got a sniper rifle you could also go over here monitor your team's side try to pick off anybody who comes through the, the tunnels and moving up over here this is kind of the uh, the iffy area. This is what I like to call the sniper area. But keep in mind, this is also where a rocket launcher is. And another, tu and another tunnel system. And the same can be said for the other side as well. Make sure that you're watching the ridge line, stopping enemies from coming through. But I have to say, the most odd point of this whole entire map is this area right here. We have an overshield, and we have a shade turret. Now, why the shade turret was put here, I don't really know. It's kind of a very, very easy target. If you get into it, you're easily announcing yourself. It's very inaccurate, so don't really be expecting to take out scorpions or... Ban banshees with it either. But yeah, that's pretty much the odd part of the map. I have no idea why Bungie put that in. I guess some mysteries will be uh, left unsolved. Okay, so that was episode 2 of Map Track. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.